episode 63 of Skibbity has finally been released, and we got this crazy looking mutant Skibbity. But to truly understand it, we've gotta watch 53 through 63. So before we jump into the action, we've gotta check out what got us to 63. It is super important for us to understand that the story and the insane amount of things that have been going on, as you guys know, Elite Plunger Man and this Speaker Man right here is really important because he gets blasted by the Astro Skibbity. You can see his helmet, right? Remember his helmet. It's very important for episode 63 and all the 60s. The last 10 episodes have been literally a movie and Daboom has done an amazing job. If you guys have been enjoying it so far, be sure to drop it a like. And of course, we all know what happens to that tank, but more into that tank. If you've missed any Skibbity episodes, this is the catch up you need to understand. You see all these blasters? These are paralysis blasters. And as you can see, we are currently in episode 54. And he's like, no, 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 no. He puts away the picture of the TV woman, but we get attacked. And you see, this is the first look at the paralysis blasters. Now in the last episode, they had red lights on them. These have blue lights. And as you can see, we also got like, we have shock sticks too. It's pretty epic, okay? It's pretty flipping awesome. I really like, I swear. The boom has made a flippin' movie. He needs to be hired by all the agencies. Oh, the glitch toilet wiped out all our friends. Even the glitch toilet hit the TV woman. That makes her really mad. You don't want to mess with the TV woman, dudes. You don't want to mess with an angry woman, okay? She'll put you in your place. And as you can see, the mech saved the day with a paralysis dart. And he's got all the weapons. He's got literally all the blasters to ever be created in the Skibbity universe. And with the glitch toilet, they have brand new technology. I still believe till this day, the elite plunger man that just gave us that thumbs up doesn't realize that even though he won that little battle right there, we lose this battle. And this is probably the most important episode of the last 10 episodes right here. When we lose this tank, it, yeah, listen, it's crazy. As you guys know, the, the camera Titan destroys this hot, this, this tub, all right, the tub of doom. Then he sees this guy, the one we just saw in episode 53, okay? He's mad about it because he got away, right? You saw in episode 53, he got away. The camera Titan goes after him. Now, if he would have destroyed him in this episode, things have been so much different. We lose our tank here. The radiation poisoning destroys our brand new tank. And look at this. Boom. We also destroy our hand cannon. And he's mad about it. Dude, oh, it's so good. I swear it's like a movie. It's so flipping good. And it's so sad because we just lost our tank that we just spent like 20 episodes building. In this episode, things got really sus. And you can see the TV man stabs a skimmy toy that turns around and stabs another one. A secret agent's right there in that car. And we get notified that our tank has been destroyed. <laughs> yep. At this very moment, the TV man goes, you had one job. In reverse, it says you had one job, which is pretty awesome. And of course, then we've got a, we've got a big problem. We got the speaker Titan who comes in and literally just destroys everything. At this point, guys, we have taken now back to back L's, okay? We have taken, we have lost our tank we lose right here to the speaker titan. All our friends get destroyed here. Two episodes are back-to-back -back L's, right? But this is where things start to really shape up for the better. 57 was released in two parts. Part one and part two. But 57 is a crazy episode. Because as you can see, there's a crazy lot of things going on here. This one's a little weird because as you guys know, the speaker titan goes against the camera titan and he ain't having it. He's not having it. No, thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room, but you're going to get slammed down because the camera titan's stronger. That's right, speaker titan. Kick him. Kick him. I love that part. I love that part. G-Man tries saving the speaker titan because as you guys know, the camera titan is stronger than speaker titan. But, uh, well, G-Man does a good job at distracting him until Elite Plunger Man comes in with his jetpack and he tries to go ahead and take out the Parasite. But as you will find out later in this episode, dudes, the Parasite was way too big for the Elite Cameraman anyways. I don't even know why he tried that. Because as you guys know, it doesn't go good for us. Well, sort of, as you can see. 
We slam down, and then the camera titan notices that the elite plunger man was hurt in that episode or in that part. So yeah, it goes for a little bit. We absolutely slam down speaker titan and do a really good job. This guy does no damage to the camera titan. We smash his head together, and then we get rid of him. It, it was just that easy. We almost get infected, though. That Things could have gotten really bad right there, but it didn't. It didn't. We get blasted quite a bit, and then the TV woman saves the day. The TV woman saves the day. You got. You love it. You love to see it. You literally love to see it. Look at that. Look at that. G-Man's like, oh, not today, bucko. And then we distract G-Man. Hello. And yeah. <laughs> Look at his face. Like, That's what it looks like when G-Man was scared. TV woman saved the day. Look at that huge parasite. No way that the elite plunger man could have like taken out that parasite. The brown suit cameraman gets left behind by the love of his life. We crushed the parasite right next to the cameraman. Just like that. Yeah. Yeah. That 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 happened. That literally just happened. Brutal, buddy. Brutal. But yeah. It was such a beautiful. It was beautiful. This was a beautiful episode. And you know, it's depressing too because the speaker time's like, I gotta go. But he goes in the direction of G-Man, which is pretty awesome. And we get a thumbs up, meaning we won this episode. And of course, those reinforcements were also flying towards the same way G-Man did. So that's pretty cool. And of course, we get all these guys. This is when we got to see more and more mutant skibbities, which is freaking terrifying, by the way. Absolute. Oh, yeah. And look, they were all scared. They, they knew he was coming. This is filmed in London. This is so cool. I, I, I've been to London and dude, when I went, there was no cameraman. There's a secret agent. You guys saw him in the top right. If you didn't see him, go back a little bit so you can replay it. You can go see him in the top right. Just barely though. And this is where we get surrounded as the speaker titan, the uninfected speaker titan. Of course, it gets a prize attack. But I think we're really close to the skibbity base here because a lot of helicopters came out to go ahead and attack the speaker titan. But as you can see, it was not good enough they were not strong enough to defeat the speaker titan and yeah the camera titan's not too happy about the, the you know he missed all the action <laughs> he's like hey what about me and these guys give us a thumbs up meaning we won the episode which is always good to see to be honest it's always a good time when we get thumbs up and we flush this dude down see ya this episode also has a secret agent in it and we've also got another mutant skibbity we are going to be taking a lot of w's in these next few episodes which has been really great to see. In the last 10 episodes, I think we won 80% of the episodes. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. You guys can let me know in the comment section, though, on how many Ws we got in the last 10. Because, oh my god. Oh my. I love that fact that they just, they filled him up. They filled him up. And don't, this episode's so happy. We get the thumbs up, meaning we won, right? And, dude, the reinforcements, the reunion, the first time we've seen the speaker army in over 25 episodes. That's right. Over 25 episodes since we've seen the speaker army come together like this, which is absolutely insane. And it's because the speaker Titan was infected for so long. And that was an epic handshake. Epic moment right there with the boys. But then, but then things really start to spice up. Skibbity, skibbity, baby. Skibbity, wibbity, skibbity. Yeah, skibbity, 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 skibbity. You can see they're not, they're, they're, they're arguing here. They're not saying anything. They're just saying skibbity, but you can see it's an intense battle. He almost comes out of his toilet and they, and yeah, they try to go ahead and get rid of G-Man. At this point, the G-Man leadership is on the downturn. And this is the moment that the new leader, the right hand man, which was the scientist now becomes the main character. The scientist skibbity has now become the main character. G-Man is no longer the leader of the Skibbities. It's now the scientist. G-Man is like the vice president. And the Skibbity scientist is the president, baby. Yep. And guess what? We win this episode, which is pretty awesome, I will say. And as you can see, they were listening and watching that whole time. And yeah. Hey, we get the big fist. But we did get the we get we get the W there. We do take an L in this episode like this guy. <laughs> and yeah, and, and like that Skibbity RC car. The Paralysis Blaster works against smaller Skibbities, but it does not work against these dudes. Especially when they have flashlights that can blind the cameraman. It's like a flashbang. 
And yeah, we almost get absolutely destroyed. Like we almost get blown up in this episode, but the speaker woman, the reveal of the speaker woman saves us. She doesn't have eyeballs, so that doesn't hurt her. And she also has to wear headphones to protect her own ears, but no, he's not wearing anything to protect his eyes. So yeah, she's very strong and pretty awesome too. Cause she just flushed him just like that. And I really like this episode because of that. She is epic. She is so flipping cool. She's like, oh, so awesome. So awesome. Okay, only two more episodes. 62 is next. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's right. This, oh man, this episode was actually crazy. This episode was nuts. We were playing catch with the skibbity and I'm not sure if like, because he got eliminated, that's how they knew that this was going on. But as you guys can see, this caused a lot of things to happen. Helicopter Skibbity showed up. Uh, big Skibbity showed up. Skibbity Scientist shows up. It gets a little intense, dudes. And as you can see, the Skibbity Scientist destroys pretty much everything. And he blows our ears with a sonic boom. The secret agent gives us headphones here. It's rumored. And we lost a lot. Dude, dude that's like, what? Another L right here? Well, we didn't, we won the last one, so I don't know, but this is a big L. And I wonder, is 63 gonna be an L or a W? Let me know in the comment section right now before we watch it. Let me know right now before we watch it. Skibbity 63. Now this has been the long awaited episode 63. We've been waiting over seven days for this episode, so it better be amazing. I think the boom was sick or something, but oh man, look at him. It's a toilet skibbity with a jetpack and spider legs and he took off the cameraman's head. That is a creepy mutant skibbity. I've never seen anything like this before. What is going on? I have so many questions. What the? Oh my. Okay. Um. <sighs> this is cool, I guess. I've mutant skibbities are. It's got like two. It, what just happened in this episode? I have more questions than answers, and I don't know why. Pretty cool though. <laughs> Whoa. What? What is happening? The cameraman won this episode with a thumbs up. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's crazy. I, oh, oh, uh, what? No. Ah, no. I can't believe this. Okay, that's epic.